Good morning everyone, my name is Arvind and uh, today I will be walking you over how to change the major and minor relationships within Informatica's test data management. So the major and minor relationships are crucial in terms of how you would want to move your data. And it's imperative for us to make sure that we define the correct kind of relationships between multiple tables before we subset the actual data. The agenda for the video is this. To begin with, I'll be showing you how to create you can uh, how to create the logical foreign keys. Once that is done, we'll see how we can create major or minor relationship at the discovery tab inside of test data management. Once that is done, we'll uh, define an entity, and uh, looking at the entity, we'll see how those tables are related, and also we can see how to change those relationships from the entity tab itself. Again, for those um, who are not exactly sure as to what the major and minor keys are, the major keys would make sure that um, when we define a condition on the child table, it will bring in all the data from the parent table. Let's say that we have a customer and leads tables. Let's say that the customer table is the parent and the leads table is a child. Defining the condition on the leads table for high quality leads will also bring in all the data from the customers table. You will not just get the customers with high quality leads. You will end up getting up all the customers from the based on the condition that you have given in the leads table. So this might work for certain customers and certain uh, use cases and this might not work at, uh, during certain use cases because uh, having a minor relationship is going to bring in all the data from your parent table. That's when that's only reason why we would um, we have two relationships minor. The minor relationships will bring in only the customers with high quality leads. In addition to the um, lead condition that has been specified in the lead table. So hence, it's uh, make it essential for us to ensure that we provide the actual criteria inside of the test data management workbench before we subset the data. Now let's uh, jump onto the demonstration. So what we are looking at now is the test data management workbench. In here, I have already imported the metadata under discover tab. I can go ahead and uh, define constraints. Um, most of us should be uh, familiar with it now. So let me go ahead and define a constraint and uh, let me choose the parent table. In this case, I'm gonna choose uh, the driving table as the parent table and let me name it as uh, fk driving the next step is to go ahead and uh, map these ports together so once i click uh, you can you can clearly and see that uh, the basic kind of relationships is major so let me go ahead and uh, make sure that i change it to minor because i would uh, want a minor relationships between these two tables so looking at here, I can see that uh, uh, the severity level is major and uh, also the constraint is enabled. So let me go ahead and quickly delete this one off and uh, let me create another constraint and uh, make sure that I provide this as minor now. So let me name, give the same name and uh, let me choose the same table, in this case uh, driving. And clicking on next, uh, let me choose uh, them and then click finish. So by default, um, by default, whenever we import the physical metadata from your databases, which which has already the constraint defined, we'll get it as major. So um, that is another FYI that uh, we would like to you to note for. And uh, you can see that the severity level is minor. And let me go ahead and quickly create an entity and say, okay, demo underscore uh, And let me choose the driving table as well. So this will paint me a picture which uh, which relates multiple tables together, right? So if I see this, I can see that the driving table is the parent table and uh, it has an immediate child in uh, drive underscore parent. So let me make it to change it to all. So you can see how uh, complex the relationship is, right? So in this case, if I give a condition on this table, let's say drive underscore parent, and uh, since they have a, um, a minor relationship it will pull data only based on this relationship it will not pull all the data from driving table 
let's say uh, what my business says is okay now um, you have given me a condition that's fine and um, let me make sure that uh, i mean what if the business says okay i want a major relationship i mean i irrespective of whatever um, the condition is given in the child i want all the data from the parent as well so in that case you quickly go here and change it to major and uh, you don't have to make any other changes just generate the workflow on the subset so this way you can quickly change the way how the data is getting subset and uh, also if you go and go to the discover tab uh, let me refresh it okay uh, let me close the project and uh, if you if you go to the uh, discover tab you can also change it there as well so this way you can uh, quickly change the major and minor relationships so you can go if you go here um, you can see how uh, what relationships you have inside of this particular uh, uh, entity as well uh, again it's very very imperative uh, in terms of uh, what relationship we define before we subset and uh, hopefully this video has helped you in identifying how they different tables are uh, related and how to change the um, major and minor relationships this brings us to the end of the demonstration and uh, we definitely love to hear from you uh, with your feedback if you want us um, uh, if you want to provide us some feedback you can definitely reach out to us at uh, supportvideos@informatica.com and also you can reach out to us at uh, https://forward/twitter.com/infosupport Thank you for your time and you all have a great day.